In Oracle Database 23C, a new feature has been introduced called Application Usage Annotations. If you keep watching, I will explain why Oracle has added this feature, how to use it and when to use it. Adding remarks to pieces of code to determine their use, explain functionality or add useful information for compilation is important for the development process. In the database versions up to 23C, we've had the option to add a single field of information to tables, columns and views and more called a comment. Only one comment per object type is available and the comment needs to be added during a separate comment on command. If you want to add comments on five different columns in your new table, you would have to execute the create command and then five additional command on commands. Once created, each object type has its own view to query the comments, for example users tab columns for all the comments on tables or all addition comments for all comments on additions. There is no single view to access all comments in one statement. Adding information to the comment requires careful coding as it is only possible to update a single comment entry. One mistake and your original information is overwritten even if you wanted to retain it. Oracle Database product development realized more options were needed for proper design, administration and maintenance options during any application development process running on the Oracle Database. The new application usage annotations allow you to add key value pairs as custom properties to the database objects like tables, views, materialized views, its columns and indexes. They are stored inside the database but are not used or interpreted by the database in any way. The number of annotations therefore does not impact the performance in the database. You can add, update or remove annotations using regular create and alter statements that you would use for creating or altering a table or index. I will share some examples in the next slides. When you create a new object, you can specify any annotation or even multiple annotations at the same time in the create statement. Annotations are automatically linked to the database object you create, similar to columns that belong to a table. You do not need any special permissions to create or alter annotations. Regular permissions to create or alter the underlying object will permit you to create or alter the annotations for the object. Before we get to the syntax you use to work with annotations, the following information might help you in preventing annotation related errors and annotation related frustration. When working with annotations, you need an annotation name, which can be anything including special characters, reserved words and white spaces up to 4000 characters. By default, the annotation name will behave like a table name or index name, so if you create it without double quotes, it will be made case insensitive. Reserved words are not allowed and not all characters like white spaces are allowed. So if you want to keep the case, use white spaces, reserved words or some special characters, you need to enclose the annotation name with double quotes. The annotation value is not required. You can create an annotation name without a value. If you want to specify a value, you need to enclose it in single quotes and the size needs to be under 4000 characters. But you are allowed to put anything you want to into the annotation value from plain text to XML to JSON, as long as the size is below 4000 characters. Adding annotations or altering annotations is done with the create or alter statements you already use for the object type. The annotation section is specified at the column level or at the end of the statement if the annotation is about the whole object. In the example at the bottom of the slide you will first see an example of an annotation on a column while creating a new table. The second example shows adding an annotation on table level. Although the annotation must be unique, it only has to be unique for the combination of object name, object type and column name, so the example on the slide will not result in an error even though I've used the same annotation name twice. You can therefore use the same annotation name, for example JIRA request ID, to record the JIRA request ID in which the addition of a column or table was requested on multiple objects at the same time. Annotations can be queried with two new data dictionary views which are prefixed by the usual DBA, all and user values. The annotation view only lists the annotation names and, when DBA and all are used, the owners of the annotations. Be aware that if you use the same annotation name for two or more objects, types, columns, combinations, like in our example both on column level and on table level, only one entry will be visible in this view. It therefore only lists the distinct annotation names, and if applicable the owners, that are used. Use this view to make sure an annotation name you plan on using is not already taken 
or to see which annotation names are already used. The second view contains more detailed information including the object type, the column name, domain information and, very importantly, the annotation value. Applications and tools can query this view to retrieve relevant information on, for example, security, format mask, which changed created the object, or whatever is needed in the application or the development process. The example shows the two annotations we created in the example on the previous slide, with the relevant details including the annotation value. Here are some more examples, especially on how to add multiple annotations, the use of double quotes, updating and deleting annotations. In the first example, we add two more annotations to our table called test. Using one alter command, two annotations are added. In this case, two annotations without annotation values. The first annotation is enclosed by double quotes, which should result in an entry that has preserved the case sensitivity. The second annotation does not have double quotes and is therefore treated as case insensitive. In the second example, a value was added to the lowercase annotation. The existing a new annotation entry was deleted and a new annotation called a newer annotation was added with a JSON value. All actions were specified and executed in a single alter table command. In the previous examples, only examples using tables and table columns were used. However, the same annotation syntax is valid for views, materialized views, indexes and more. In the first example, an annotation is added while creating a view on view level. In the second example, we add an annotation to a column while creating a new materialized view. And in the third example, we add an annotation to a new index. The fourth example adds an additional clause to the add option of annotations. If you try to add an annotation with an annotation name that already exists, you will see an error. To prevent errors during script execution, the option has been added to check for an existing annotation with the same name when adding or removing an annotation. Be aware that in the current example, the annotation already exists when executing the false statement. There will be no error in the script, but the intended value for the annotation will be lost. Currently, there is no functionality to add or replace in one command. At this moment, you need a separate add and replace command to get the intended value into your system. To summarize, application usage annotations is a new feature in the Oracle Database 23C release similar to the existing comments functionality. Instead of just having one comment, multiple name value pairs can be added per object and are available to all applications, microservices and tools that would need them using a single data dictionary view containing all information. Use the new functionality to store information like content types, format masks, security aspects or whatever your design needs about the database inside the database with no performance degradation. For more information please go to oracle.com slash database slash 23c and select usage annotations in the documentation section. And that brings us to the end of the introduction of application usage annotations. If you want to start building with your own next long-term support release of the Oracle database, please visit oracle.com slash 23c free to download our Oracle database 23c free developers edition. You can easily install and run it on your own systems or in our always free Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute Instances. Thank you for your time.